Next problem, meron tayong partial fraction problem. So, ano to uh, mechanical? Board exam. So, solve for the partial fraction. So, meron tayong problem ito. So, pwede nyo i-post. Pwede nyo i-post to. Ito yung problem. Then, kasi natin na. So, solve natin yung partial fraction. So, paano ba mag-solve ng partial fraction? So, calculator technique. So, rules of partial fraction. So, ano mo siya? So, yung yung, yung denominator is ipapaktor mo. So, ganito. So, hindi na natin to gagamitan ng calculator technique. So, kung mapapansin nyo, mode 5 equation saka 3. Second, uh, second degree polynomial. So, hindi na natin nagamitan ng calculator technique kasi pare-pareho yung denominator. So, itong equation na to so partial fraction, magiging siya equal sa a over x minus 4 plus b over x minus 3. Dapat sa partial fraction, so, binomial, first degree, first degree yung x, so, dapat yung numerator is lower degree. Since x raised to 1 na to, ang numerator is constant na lang. Kasi, uh, x raised to 1, then ito sa taas is x raised to 0. Which is, x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, 1 degree, 1 degree lower yung numerator sa partial fraction. Since, uh, ano mo na siya, i-denote mo siya na constant A. Well, dito naman sa kabila, so 1 degree lower, x raised to 1 yung denominator, x raised to 0 yung numerator, x raised to 0. So, constant na lang yan, constant. Then, paano ba mag-calculator sa partial fraction, so kukunin, hamba, kukunin natin yung A kukunin ko yung A kukunin ko yung A cover natin tong x minus 4 so mawawala yan dito yung x minus 4 kukunin natin yung A so magiging siyang x plus 2 imbes na x ang ilalagay ko y so y y ang ilalagay natin, recall y then plus 2 over recall y minus 3 alpha equals since a ang hinahanap natin gagawin natin siyang x then dapat ang goal natin is maging 0 yung denominator so paano maging 0 substitute y is equal to positive 4 so gagawin natin siyang so, naglagay lang ako na kanina ng uh, ganyan para ma-visualize nyo lang. So, magiging dapat itong 0. So, yung, yung denominator magiging 0. So, x lang siya ha. Uh, so, x lang. So, hindi, hindi siya magiging indeterminate. So, ano to? So, sa process is tatanggalin mo yung x dito. Then, calc natin. Uh, y is equal to x, di ba yung x naging y so y is equal to positive 4, so para maging 0 to dapat substitute natin itong baba ng positive 4, shift solve y is equal to 4 equals so uh, yung a natin is negative 5 yung a is negative 5 and then Hindi siya, a, yung a natin is negative 5, hindi siya. Shift solve natin pala. Oh, so, 6. Okay, ulitin natin na. Shift, solve, y is equal to positive 4, equals, solve for x, equals. Okay, 6. So, yung negative 5 nun is yung dating value pa yan. 
dating value sa previous solution. So, nakuha na natin na 6. So, ang probable answer is A or C. So, ituturo ko yung calculator technique na to kasi minsan sa problem, hinahanap yung A or B. So, pwede nyo rin itong isolve ng bias troubleshooting. Since equal naman to, equal to dito sa pwede sa option A or option C. Okay, so pinapakita ko lang kung paano mag-solve ng partial fraction para kung sakaling hanapin yung yung constant sa taas, alam nyo. Then, next. So, balik tayo. So, ngayon, kukunin natin yung B. Kunin natin yung B. Tanggalin ko tong x minus 3 kasi x minus 3 din to. So, write natin the equation. So, magi siyang y plus 2 over y minus 4. Tapos, ito, tatanggalin natin. So, magi siyang x na lang. Then, paano maging 0 yung x? So, kailangan natin ng positive 3. Since x is equal to y. Okay, x is equal to y. Then, yung b, gagawin natin ng x. So, ganyan siya. Parang ganyan siya. So, yung b, gagawin natin x. Tapos, tatanggalin natin yung denominator. So, matitira is x. Then, paano maging 0 yung denominator is? Gawin natin, mag, substitute natin x is equal to positive 3. Shift solve positive 3. Pero yung x natin is ginawa nating y. Okay? Solve for x equals, equals ulit. So, ang answer is negative 5. So, C. Okay? So, tinuro kung paano maghanap ng constant.